Hey my friends, you got Gord here, your hurting hippie with another coffee break session. This one is one that I never wanted to do. It's it's uh free the emeries. This is absolutely horrible. The Canadian Prince and Princess of Pot, Mark Emery and Jody Emery, have been arrested. Uh they will likely make bail two hundred thousand dollars a piece. But uh, Kirk Trousseau, their lawyer, has said, um, and I'm not quoting, that this is the people of Toronto and the people of this country should be outraged at the unbelievable expense put to arrest people for a law, under a law, to go out of their way to arrest the the proponents, the main advocates in this country of this and their, their so much compassionate dispensary for a law that within a year will no longer be on the books. It is absolutely ridiculous. In my sharing in Google, I spoke of the one police spokesperson says, Make no doubt about it. There is no gray area at present. This is against the law. So therefore, we enforce the law. There is nothing gray about it. It's black and white. And that spokesperson was quoting many of us who talk about the gray areas of law in this situation. And yes, if you want to put it right to the books, okay. But what they don't get is, it, is it enforceable law? These people are exercising their basic human freedoms as defined in our Charter of Rights and Freedoms to possess, to control, to use, and to properly within the, the legal ramifications set by Vancouver's local. They shut down their dispensary and they're the owner of the dispensary, but they, they arrested the few in Vancouver too. So that's why I bring up Vancouver. Vancouver doesn't usually arrest people unless they've broken also the local regulations. But this is a law that's going away. It's absolutely ridiculous to make criminals out of people who, if this were to happen next year, it wouldn't happen. It wouldn't happen nobody would be a criminal next year for what they're doing this year. They're doing it this year, why? Because there is a need and a desire by the Canadian people to have this happen in a controlled place. Even the recreational deserves to be in stores and dispensaries early. If we've decided to get rid of that law and get rid of the, the um, black market, the gray market is a great place during that interim while this very slow government of ours moves on the recreational legalization. During that time, there needs to be a defined gray period where the government says, you know what, within the realms of possibility, we, of safety, I'm sorry, within the realms of safety, we need to allow these people who can to open stores within the kind of guidelines that Vancouver already has out there and set and in place and enforcing them, um, within those, and that's what most dispensaries are doing and cannabis culture was doing, Market and Jody Emery were doing, is being proactive and keeping these drugs off the streets and away from children by putting them behind closed doors and ensuring that only adults get them. I have spoken about the dispensary that handles recreational. And you know, I have said in that area, yeah, the law is very definitive. The dispensary that handles medical, that's kind of more gray because they're living under a legalized framework. They're just, the government hasn't included their company's name or, or category in that. But the more I think about it, every dispensary, any, any business that wants to 
get going in this. The government should be working on supporting and, of course, regulating that business, not trying to shut them down and say, wait until we're legal, wait until we're legal. You're a criminal until we're legal. Because every single store that opens, that's one person that could have, should have, maybe might have sold to minors when he was selling on the street. But now that he's opening a store, he's got to be much more careful, much live under regulations because he's got a business license and he's being monitored. So it gets it off the street. It is, if they opened up and regulated like Vancouver did, both recreational and medical, two dispensaries, the black market would just crumble in this country. But, uh, but our government hides behind this we got to do what's legal. We're going to keep enforcing the laws until the laws change. If you have decided that a law is no longer right because you're changing it to be the other way around, used to be illegal, will be legal, then you need to manage that interim. And one thing history is going to say is, OMG, the liberals sure screwed up at at not managing the interim they they gave us promises we're coming forward with legalized pot and they kept pushing out the date it started at 2016 then 2017 now 2018 without realizing there is a space between illegal and legal that needs to be managed and what's their job to look after us so managed in our favor not let's lock everyone up who does anything that we don't like until then. It's just ridiculous. You got to get a hold of your MPs. This has gone too far. Peace and cheers, my friends. Last coffee break of this week. Thank God it's Friday. Peace.